watching the ball smash into the pen. Sometimes they come here, come here. Hey, What are you doing right now, baby? I'm jogging. You jogging? <gasps> <gasps> He turned, so we didn't have to do it. Did he stay turned? We will not know until he comes. Um, but we just won't do the ECV, as well would say, the universe to get into. Yes, um, universe. Into the universe hands, and so it's all up to the universe now. Good morning. It is six ten in the morning. We are on our way. We are on our way to Greensboro to have an ECB. Um, no, I'm not in labor. Uh, ECB is an external cephalic version. So our little baby is transverse. Slightly. 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 Which means his head is like this far from where it needs to be to come out naturally and of course y'all know we want to do a natural uh water birth no medication no anything no cesarean so we came to the conclusion that we will have the ecv now the thing about it is that it could harm him or me it just it'll be painful it'll put it could put him in distress and we could have to do an emergency cesarean so we have mothers on standby um because we could possibly have a child today. Two day. A whole what? Two weeks early. Two weeks early. And I just want to say, I never thought I would have a child wearing this hat. Never. You should have had your throat hat up. No. <laughs> Crazy. I'm excited though. You better be. Um. <laughs> so we're going to go get that. They're going to try to turn him so he can be head down so we can have his natural birth uh, so we are on our way let's see will we have a baby back there on the way back or will we not oh gosh let me know how you feel I just want him to be okay I don't want him to be in distress what are, are, you, are we doing the right thing are we doing the right thing? Yeah. By going through the procedure? Yeah. In this situation, I don't know if there's a wrong or a right. I think it's just going with what you feel so the best outcome can happen. I mean, a little bit of me thinks we should just let what happens happen, but sometimes, very rarely, that's not always the best way. process of turning on his own and doing his natural thing, which I don't ever want to interfere with that. Or two, with this procedure, and he'll just turn again, because he's going to do what he want to do anyway. So, I guess part of me is like, I want him to turn and then come. So <laughs> we could just... That's what I said, remember? That's like, what I said, I just want him to come if he turns. I don't ever want to get another IV in my this health experience has took it to the upper level of my. Yeah, my baby's so cute. She got. It. She talking about the IV. That's all she went through so far. Like you eat healthy, so you don't ever have to get an IV. That's enough for me. You don't have to scare me with smoking nothing else. Just exercise and eat right, so you never ever ever have to get an IV. This is just the ECV. I ain't even gone through the birth yet. Blown. I'm blown already. 